What's up everybody, Kagzi Gaming here with a new video in, in TH16 Attack Strategy, 10 Root Riders and 20 Bowlers and this is one of the best attack strategy and the easiest attack strategy to make sure you get the 3 star and you get all the loot. I attack only bases with at least 2 million loot so I can take and upgrade the walls this i have i think 20 left 20 walls so using 10 root riders 20 bowlers this is a bowler spam great attack strategy to use easy you don't need to strategize you don't need to plan ahead so i'm using a rage a freeze poison for the cc and the overgrowth spell Also, I managed to swap a bit with the Grand Warden abilities. I changed the Healing Tome to the Rage, the Rage Vial. Rage Gem, I thought, sorry. Just to see if they get the extra damage instead of a Rage. So you can 3-star with either of them. Basically, anytime, like most of my attack strategies, this is live attacks, as you can see. So most of the time I'm uh, starting in front of the Eagle Artillery after I funnel with a few bowlers on the both sides. sides. Most of the root riders are here, clearing the rest of the buildings and that's it. Pretty fast, easy 3 star. You're going to lose most of the bowlers but uh, the root riders will last for uh, the end of the attack. Using the Stone Slammer, just to take a corner of the base, you want to start with the Stone Slammer. On every, every corner, you don't have the Mortar. Mortar and also an Expo on ground also can take the Stone Slammer pretty fast, so you want to put it as far as possible from it. Starting from the right side, going straight to the town hall, the eagle artillery and the monolith in the center. Basically you start with the root riders, they are taking the walls, opening all the segments so the troops can go inside. You spread the bowlers around in a straight line behind the root riders. If you put the bowlers on the same spot, most likely the scatter shots will take them out in one shot. So you want to spread them around as much as possible. And that's okay if you have one or two behind the root rider. They're still gonna take everything. They're still going to clear the base. And I'm still using the spiky ball for the barbarian king one of the best equipment i think for him easily it's taking at least six defenses if you trigger it properly you always want to trigger the spiky ball next to defenses without any mines or storages because the spiky ball will target anything so in the, with this round i have the queen and the king with the Grand Warden, but I think the King will lose it here. Trying to delay it with the free spell, let's see if he can take the single Inferno, yeah I think it is. Still got the Queen ability and I have the Magic Mirror. So you can say I have three Queens here. Taking the Wizard Tower. I will trigger the ability because the super cannon pretty strong can take the queen alone so the clones are going around the queen taking the walls and that's it another three star this was the second replay and now it's the third replay maybe you want to take the siege barracks as well depends on the base you're attacking I will try it here. 
just because I see an opening and I see lots of buildings around, so it's good for the funnel. The only downside with the stone slammer, it's pretty slow. And you need to wait a lot until it will finish taking out a corner. Same like before, dropping the root riders behind the bowlers and the heroes in the middle. So they will go with them in front of the eagle artillery. You can use the overgrowth spell to help the, with the funnel. So I always try to put it on the opposite direction. Now they are going for the center. So here the town hall is on the edge, but that's okay. They will take everything around it. And then they will go. Maybe the world champion can take it out. No. Nope. She's going back. Now I have the Phoenix, but I don't think it will be enough. Still have the Queen ability, the Spiky Ball. Let's see how, how much damage it can take here. So the King is going next to the Town Hall. Maybe I will trigger it. Maybe it will get at least 50% of the HP. Yep. Okay, that was good. I took the spell next to the Town Hall. If I didn't do it, most likely they will ignore the Town Hall and they will come back later and I might lose the time there. Using the Rage, easy takedown for the Town Hall and I think I'm gonna lose the King here, yeah. So it's only the X-Bow. Using the Magic Mirror and that's it. Thank you very much for watching, try it for yourself, this is a great TH16 attack strategy, live attacks, and I will see you on the next one. See ya!